Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Akuma MC Skyblock and in this video we're just gonna be progressing. We're gonna be trying to actually like get enchants on our pickaxes and stuff like that, just getting XP and we're just gonna be making a whole load of progress. So stay tuned till the very end. In the previous video, you know, we just did some starter quests and stuff and we got a bit of money already and yeah, so we had a pretty good start of the world and I think we're gonna just go to our island and take a look at the current quest that we have so if we do slash quest we can see our current quest is to harvest 25 wheat which we do have we have a little farm here and we're definitely going to have had to expand it for the new challenges in the future if we take a look at the few next quests or actually we have to wait until we unlock them so let me go ahead and mine some of this wheat real quick and okay the good thing about this server is the wheat actually auto replants which is such a big help imagine we had to replant all of this it would just take way too long and as you make bigger farms and stuff it would just be way way too inefficient so yeah i honestly really like that about this server and okay let me continue farming i think i might have to wait for a little bit more to grow no there we go so we got the quest unlocked we got two money pouches and two xp pouches so let's go ahead and open up all of those and i mean let's see what we can get from that okay so we got a decent bit of money and some xp okay we'll definitely take that and then let's see what the next quest is and that is actually self the wheat which we only have 26 but i actually want to try something if we go ahead and take a look if in here we can actually buy wheat so let's see if we can just buy 25 or yeah let's see if we can buy some and sell some if that would work so i sell hand and it did work okay boom so that's kind of a shortcut that you can take and we got a farming book which you can use that warp enchanter and three chicken spawners which we'll definitely take and we did get an ig spawner last video but we're gonna have to make a separate grinder on that because you you can actually only kill them by fire so yeah we're gonna have to make a grinder on that we can't actually like kill them by hitting them so yeah and then let's see so what's the next quest i think the next quest is probably like kind of hard okay open up the enchant book at warp enchanter okay let's do that real quick so let's warp enchanter and it's gonna teleport us here to tim the enchanter and okay so i'm gonna right click him with the book and okay it looks like it spits out some enchantment books and i guess we could probably pick one so we have xp finder which gives us xp from farming logging and fishing meets paypal which has a chance of getting bycraft coupons and then treasure hunter which has a chance to find keys i think the best one here is probably xp finder so let's go ahead and take that book quest complete and we did get the xp finder book which is pretty good and then let's go into the slash quest and see from that we got 15k and a tier 2 experience password to take and then enchant an item at slash warp enchanter so we're already there so let's try to right click him and let's put our pickaxe in there so the status you must enter a book and tool okay so if we put the xp finder in i don't know actually i don't know enchant okay so we can put the xp finder on our hoe so let's go ahead and do that and i guess the higher the cost of the xp levels is actually the higher percentage of success and we do not have a lot of xp right now so we're gonna hold off on that so let's open up this xp pouch get some xp from that and then we're gonna hold on to this uh, xp finder book for now and yeah let's just go back to the island we can't do that quest yet i'm pretty sure in some of the feature quests we're gonna have to expand this farm a ton so we might go ahead and do that but i do want to go into the mine because currently we do not have a good pickaxe and i'm still waiting for them to get me my rank on this skyblock realm so once i do that we are going to get a better pickaxe which can mine a lot faster and stuff so yeah that's gonna be way better for us and it's way more efficient better basically it's just gonna be like okay so we go to the mine such mine and currently we're in the coal mine this is the default mine that everybody starts in and as you can see we aren't really like insta mining so if we go back and forth that's how we have to mine it and basically with the higher pickaxe efficiencies and stuff we can basically just run around and insta mine which is a lot better but i mean this works for now it's just not as efficient as a better pickaxe would be and i mean we could get a higher efficiency i don't know if there's a way to get like regular books and we just get we should we did just level up our mining skill so if we go to slash skills we can see the mine the mining section once we get to level five we actually get a one percent mining speed boost 20 cloud keys and five chicken spawners which is really good because I mean, higher mind speed is higher mind speed, which we'll definitely take. And let's go ahead and see how many crates we have, if we have any. And okay, it looks like we don't, which, okay, we have 20 vote keys, actually. So let's open up all of those. It looks like we got some cell ones. Let me go ahead and deposit these at our island real quick. But if we take a look, it looks like we got some cell ones, some spawners, and a crop hopper or a chunk hopper. And uh, we got another dungeon key. I'll have to take a look at those later. Those actually seem kind of interesting. And we actually did get a few spawners. We have a decent amount of spawners right now. So we should definitely get a grinder set up soon. Just so we can start profiting from these spawners. I do want to go ahead and get that enchanter quest done. So basically, if we go and check and take a look, 
we have to enchant an item as slash warp enchanter so i mean that's how we're gonna use the bug like that's basically what the quest is but we don't have enough xp for now so we're gonna go to a public island and actually use their grinder for some little bit of xp and i'll come back once i have a decent amount so i can actually enchant so i'll be right back okay so we have enough xp to actually go ahead and use the enchantment book so wait let's go ahead and sell all these blaze rods first and those sold for around two uh, well i only sold one hand so let me sell all those sold around for 9.9k which is not trash and let's go ahead and enchant now so the xp finder will just give us more xp on our hoe and stuff like that so boom and let's do the 87 percent so hopefully this applies if it doesn't then that'd be pretty bad and wait it says i don't have enough xp actually i think we do need to grind like one more level i think it's just like a little bit bugged so let me go ahead and go to the island real quick and it should take like one minute okay so we did get another xp level and let's go ahead and enchant it it should work now so let's combine and boom and let's see did it apply and it did so we're definitely gonna take that and we did get the quest unlocked so let's open up the tier two and tier or yeah tier two xp and tier two gem pouch so yeah we we'll definitely take that xp and our next quest is to get our farming skill to level three and we're basically just have to farm for that i don't know if there's a public farm and from that we will get a we get two tier two money pouches and two tier two experience pouches and an airdrop and i have no clue what an airdrop is so i'm actually excited to see what that is but let's see i don't think there's a farm area so we're gonna have to make our own farm let me just check real quick there is dungeons and stuff like that so we're gonna check those out later but okay let's go to the island i will probably go ahead and expand the farm and actually a lot of it grew so let's see what farming skill we are currently or i think we're still probably level one okay we're 25 percent of level two so yeah we're definitely gonna have to keep grinding and expanding the farm so i'm gonna go do that and i'll be back once i have expanded it a bit okay so we are done expanding for now and we definitely are going to expand it a lot more later but this is just the starter farm that we're gonna be using to help level up and yeah we're definitely gonna have to expand this later though for like more challenges and stuff but yeah so we're just gonna use this for now all right i'm currently building a grinder to try to put all my spawners in and stuff like that just so we can start making some money but all the wheat did grow so i'm gonna go ahead and farm all this if we take a look at our slash skills we can see that we're still level one but we're at 97 percent. so let's see how much percentage we can actually go up and okay boom level two is right there and hopefully maybe we can get to level three in like this mining so let's go and find out and okay some of the wheat like like seeds are breaking i don't know why but yeah we're gonna have to replant some of those but let's see and okay i want to see the percentage we're at we should be I, probably probably kind of close yeah 88 percent. okay that's like one more harvest that's only like a few more crops that we're gonna have to mine in order to get that so that shouldn't take too long at all and yeah i'm probably gonna continue making the grinder i'm honestly kind of bad at it so i probably have to look at somebody else's but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick actually i think we're going to wait on making the grinder because if you take a look in the slash shop and you go into the gem shop section you can see there's these fire scrolls and i'm pretty sure they like if you apply them onto either spawner or the crop hop or uh, chunk hopper or something like that i think it auto puts the mobs on fire so you don't have to even set up like a farm you just have them drop in the void and they'll instantly go on fire and the loot will be collected so i'm gonna wait on that and yeah so that should be very very useful and then it's 5k gems for one fire scroll and we're at about 4.3k and i'm pretty sure you can get them from crates and stuff like that crates farming so yeah we'll just have to keep farming and stuff for some gems and yeah so honestly the main goal is to get that fire scroll so we can start building farms and stuff and the next quest i want to go and check i'm pretty sure it's still the level three one yes get farming skill to level three so we're gonna wait and until these crops regrow and it shouldn't take too long at all you can also get gems from mining like this and i think i'm gonna do this for a little because i did get a ton of gems from just mining like four blocks so it's actually pretty insane and we could probably get to around 5k in a pretty short time so yeah let's do that because right now we're already at 4.4k for mining for a little bit so i'm gonna go do that wait till i get 5k and i'll be back okay we are done getting to 5k gems we have a whole bunch of stuff we're gonna sell so slash sell all and boom 13k that's pretty pretty decent i guess but now let's go into the sh gem shop and actually go ahead and buy that fire scroll and boom fire scroll and it's going by one for now so boom and it says this fire scroll will light all mobs from this spawner on fire resulting in better drops worth more than more worth more in the shop so that's actually good they're going to be worth more than the shop which is going to help us make even more money and don't even don't even talk about that farm but let's go ahead and i think i just build like a basic one with spawners just falling into the void so let me get some blocks to build out with and i'll come back if i get it working i think the best spawner we have is the ig or at least that's the most expensive so we're gonna go ahead and put the fire scroll on those and we do have two of them so that's pretty decent so let's go place them down right here and how do i stack them do i just right click uh i don't know how to i don't really know how to stack these spawners okay okay i think they were not stacking because of like different chunks but we got it working and we're gonna go ahead and apply the fire scroll now so now they should auto be dying and we knew we do need to put a 
ch chunk chest down or chunk hopper down yeah so okay we did have one that gave us like 50 okay this one's rare so i think if we just put it up top i think it should work i don't really oh no i think we have to put it in chest so we might have to go do that i think there's eye chest or something like that so we're gonna have to make sure that we get those but it should be working now i just want to see what they drop i just want to sell a little bit and okay there it goes on fire and it should die and okay well i'm probably gonna have to remove this because this is not in a good chunk but it, sells, it drops iron and if we sell, sell hand we got 25 from two iron which is not terrible and we're definitely gonna take that but i think we're gonna wrap things up there we made some amazing progress in this video but i'll see you in the next one peace out